What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody is doing great. I hope everybody had a great new year. I want to talk to you about this new Recall 24 S78. It is brand new, just like a day old, man. And there's not a whole lot of information on it, but what information I do have, I'm going to talk to you about it. And it is actually dealing with, oh, let's see if I can find it. One of these. Oh, boom. High pressure fuel pump. So let's go to the computer and talk about it. All right, safety recall 24 S78, new vehicle demonstration delivery hold, certain 2020 through 2022 model year super duties and 21 through 22 medium truck, equipped with the 6.7 diesel engine and RP7 diesel high pressure fuel pump, powertrain control module software update, biodiesel deposit accumulation. So this is an advanced notice, okay. Advanced notice. See, there it says FSA VIN list and then advanced notice. I'm going to go to advanced notice. And this is what it tells me. This is all the information that I have. And that Ford has put out is the information that I'm about to give you on this. Okay. It says PCM software update biodiesel deposit accumulation. Super duty. 2020 through 2022. Kentucky plant. Built February 19th, 19 through August 23rd, 21. Super Duty, 2020 through 22, Ohio truck plant. April 3rd, 19 through August 23rd, 21. Medium truck, 21 through 22, Ohio truck plant. May 14th, 19 through August 23rd, 21. There's approximately 294,713 trucks affected. And this is kind of weird. Okay, the reason for the recall. In some of the affected vehicles, it may be possible that aged biodiesel deposits may accumulate in the high pressure fuel pump. This may result in extended cranking without starting while the vehicle is parked or loss of motive power while driving. A loss of motive power increases the risk of a crash. Service action. Do not demonstrate or deliver any new in-stock vehicle involved in safety recall. A complete dealer bulletin will be provided to dealers when the software is available, including repair instructions to support the safety recall. So I don't know how a PCM update is going to fix anything or what parts they're probably going to have them change out the fuel pump or the fuel system. The PCM update may be updating, obviously updating the PCM kind of like after you do a, a, a fuel system, you have to reset all the parameters on the high pressure fuel system side. Um, it, it's not a whole lot of information. That's it. That's all the information we have here. Um, it's not telling you what they're gonna do. It's not telling you what the PCM update is for. It's just saying PCM update for diesel or biodiesel degrading. So like I said, that is an advance notice. That's them putting it out there. Hey, there's gonna be a recall for this fuel pump. Now, why don't they do it to all these CP4 pumps? Cause those things are garbage anyway. We always take them out, put DCR pumps in them. Um, but for bio, biodiesel contamination from it sitting so long and doing a PCM update. Very confusing. They should put more information in that before they send it out to the public. You know what I mean? Because I'd like to know what we're about to get into to repair these things. I'm assuming it's going to be replacing a fuel system and then updating the PCM. So as I get more information, I will pass that information on to you. And until then, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And as always, I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.